Amazon Prime Day, protesting outside the warehouses. Jeff Bezos, he don't care. He doesn't have to. He'll find out why. Happy Amazon Prime Day, brother. Hey, Amazon doing? Prime Day? Yeah. What it means I? nothing to me as well. I know. What is it with companies setting up quasi-national holidays that we should be celebrating? Guess how we celebrate? <laughs> we spend money on their business. It's a holiday. It's Singles Day. It's Prime Day. It's Black Friday. It's Cyber Monday. Let's celebrate, everyone. Get your wallet out and give us some greenbacks. <laughs> <laughs> so let's celebrate. This is now soon later. There was their $6.4 billion in revenue generated. That was a fair bit of protest as well. Yeah, they generated a bit of negative PR at That's the same fine. time. So the workers in the warehouses that packed those hundreds of thousands of boxes stepped out on the street and said, no more. But you know what? It's a short-term conversation because the robots are coming for these guys, aren't they? They've just bought these cardboard box packing machines. 700 boxes an hour, six times faster than any human. This is, this is the beginning of the big transition from human workforce to robot labor. Certainly when it comes to physical labor and soon intellectual labor. So that's happening now. Soon, we've seen Amazon come out and look, they're so generous. 700 million to train up their staff. 700 million dollars to train up 100,000 staff. 7,000 per staff member, is that a lot, Tommy? That is quite a lot. Pretty good, right? 700 million in training humans to teach the robots that will eventually replace them. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's a stealth strategy by Jeff Bezos, world's richest man. <laughs> well, here's one thing we can be sure of, Tommy, What's is that? we're going to see more humans being replaced. Right? Soon, you're going to continue to hear it. It's not going to go away. But here's the rub, this is not new. This is not a new idea, humans being replaced by machines and robots and AI, tram conductors, bank tellers. Typesetters. Typesetters at the New York Times. No one's worrying about that, they're gone as well. 10 years from now, no one's even gonna care or think that there was a person in a warehouse mm -hmm. doing that work. So it's just gonna go away and we're gonna, unfortunately, we're gonna forget. But here's the thing, great job market, booming economy, what we've got is a displacement. There's more unfilled jobs for the people that can fill them who are unemployed, but there is a problem. A knowledge, prob skills. There's a knowledge gap, there's a knowledge gap. Yes, there's plenty of jobs. Just think about data security. That's an industry where there's more than a million jobs open right now around the world that can't be filled. People are capable, but we need companies and governments to train people in the transition. So later we're gonna see massive grants of the government basically funding education for the sake of the economy. Absolutely, that's what we need to do. Don't try and save industries, let them die. Don't try and save jobs, let them die. But train people for the new jobs of the new industry. Remember, for every job technology takes away, it invents too. I love that. There's 1.2 million app developers in the world today. 10 years ago, that job couldn't have existed because smartphones didn't exist. Imagine your granddad, great, great, great granddad, thinking about the farm. He went back in the DeLorean to tell them about the future. So tell us, Tommy, tell us about jobs in the future. Wow, people are yoga teachers and web designers. Can you imagine what he would have said? Why do the spiders need so much help? I mean, web design. How can, how can we talk about jobs in the future? We don't even know what they are or they exist. I reckon if we just taxed Amazon and Jeff Bezos and Google, we could get some of that money to train people for tomorrow's jobs that Amazon and Google are taking away. What do you reckon? That's not bad, actually. So for every job they automate, they need to fund the education of two humans. There you go. That's it. Yeah. For every job they automate, because guess what they did? They took away, I don't know, 50,000, 60,000, 100,000 in wages. The automation tax. The automation tax. Starts here. Starts here. We invented it right here at Future Sandwich. There you go, there's another episode now soon later. Tune in next week. Have you subscribed yet, by the way? It's there. There it is. Down there. is it? Or is it on that side? I think it's on that side. It's on that side. It's on that side. Either side, it's on one of those sides. If I do that, <laughs> you can subscribe to it. <laughs>